Welcome to Mystic Realms Recap. Links are in the description below. Please show some love of the author and me. On to the show, Suzian was the first to notice that something was wrong with Miao Xiaomi's mood. He quickly looked at her and asked in confusion, what's wrong with you? While asking, he raised his head and looked at the place where Meowth was staring. But over there, there were only starships of different types parked there. Not a single person was seen. What caused Meowth to lose his temper like this? Not surprisingly, it should be these starships? But these starships? How can it still make Meow Cat's hair explode? Su Zian was baffled. Hu Chi Chi and other women were equally baffled. Not to mention the lone wolves following behind. Even more confused. Xiaomi, what's wrong? Did you find anything? Hu Chi Chi also asked quickly. The big eyes kept looking over there. But not even half a person was seen. Miao Xiaomi pursed her lips, and after a while, she gritted her teeth and said, It's the damn hyena human race. Everyone could clearly feel the hatred in their gritted teeth. Hyena people? Su Zian was startled. He thinks that he has learned the cultural lessons well among the billions of human races in the universe. Hyena he knew. It is a relatively common animal species. But I seem to have never heard of the hyena race. Only by Xiao Yuan's big ruby-like eyes blinked, showing an expression of sudden realization, and said, I know. It's a branch of the werewolf tribe, the spotted wolf tribe, right? After hearing what Bai Xiaoyao said, Su Zian understood immediately. This spotted wolf tribe, because it looks like a hyena. Therefore, they are nicknamed the hyena tribe, by many people. But it seems that after being retaliated by the hyena tribe several times, they themselves have been claiming to the outside world that they are a spotted wolf tribe, not a hyena tribe. Over time. No one mentioned this word. In fact, in Su Zian's opinion, whether it is a hyena human race or a spotted wolf human race, it is actually the same. Because not only are they very similar genetically, they are also very similar in appearance. But. Why does Meowth hate the hyena human race so much, wait a minute, an idea flashed in Su Zian's mind. He suddenly remembered the history of the cat people and the vassal human race. No, or rather, it's the history of the civet and cat people clan that Meow Little Meow belongs to. The civet cat people clan originally had their territory invaded by a clan. When it was about to be destroyed, it suddenly threw itself into the camp of the human race in the universe. That's how we coexist today. So. After thinking about it, Suzian thinks. Perhaps, the reason why Meowth hates the hyena race so much is that this hyena race is the same race that almost completely wiped out the Meowth race? Thinking of this, he immediately looked towards Meow Xiaomi. As expected. After Meow Xiaomi took a deep breath, she said in a cold voice, I'm fine. I just saw the unique starship of the hyena tribe, the enemy of our civet cat tribe. After a pause, Myoxiami said calmly, just be a disciple. After saying that, without looking back, he turned around and walked out. Su Zian and the others looked at each other and could only shake their heads. Without saying anything, they left together. This kind of thing. There was nothing he could do about it. With his strength, he can't control it. But if Meowth wants revenge in the future, he will definitely help. As for who to seek revenge from? What is interesting is. At that time, the Civic Cat Tribe was invaded by the Hyena Tribe. Both parties have not joined the Universal Human Federation. The Universal Human Federation has never cared about the battles of these neutral races, just to recruit. At that time, after the Civic Cat Race joined, the Hyena Race would definitely not be allowed to continue to invade. According to normal logic, the Universal Human Federation will directly send troops to destroy this hyena human race. But, here comes the interesting thing. Several tribes among this hyena race actually chose to join the camp of the Universal Human Federation. What can humans do? You can't refuse, right? If you refuse, it will be much more difficult to recruit other humanoid races to join in the future. For the sake of the overall situation, the human race can only act as a foodie in the middle. 
the hyena human race also agreed to compensate, and the cosmic human race also gave sufficient compensation to the civet cat race. This time, I have put it aside for the time being. You will definitely not be able to let go of your racial hatred so easily. Anyway, secretly, the two parties are often at war with each other. As long as the scope of their war is limited to their respective private armies, then the casualties will not affect the ordinary people. And it's not too much. The human race in the universe has always turned a blind eye. It is better to block than to open up. Anyway, after all these years, the war between these two races has never stopped. On a small scale, it is a fight of several or dozens of ships. On a large scale, hundreds or even hundreds of ships fight each other. But if it goes beyond that, the Universal Human Federation will intervene. In short, it is limited to below this scale. Moreover, you can blow up the opponent's starship and compete for the enemy's territory, but war must not be fought for the purpose of killing. Otherwise, the Universal Human Federation will come directly and suppress both sides. No one knows how to talk about this kind of thing. They could only leave here in silence. In fact, Suzian understands Miao Xiaomi's feelings very well. This is like the Earth in ancient times. At that time, Xia Dynasty and Sakura had a truce, and they talked about common development and had a lot of trade with each other. Do you really want to say that as a Xia Dynasty person, just because everyone is no longer fighting, the past things will be wiped out? Forgive them completely? Suzian doesn't know whether other people's brains are filled with water, but it is absolutely impossible for Suzian himself. He is not qualified to forgive for his ancestors. To be honest, if there is a possibility of three wars and the two sides are hostile. Believe me. When the time comes, I believe that every person with Xia Dynasty blood flowing in their veins will be the strongest at Sakura. A truth. After that, no one mentioned it. Ten people from the Earth Federation were assigned to the 22nd floor of the spaceship. They are all in the style of apartments. They are not big, but they have everything you need, and they are very comfortable to live in. Everyone went back to their respective rooms, put away their personal belongings, washed themselves, changed their clothes, and then came out. There are still several days left before the rodent eradication pioneer plan. In the past few days, Suzian did not intend to let them continue to practice like that every moment. Proper rest can help you improve better. 1. They were 5 days ago. All the requirements set by Suzian have been met. Especially Qin Fuyue. Maybe it's because she didn't take Tian Kai Dibao very much before. It may also be that he was stimulated by Suzian. In short, she improved the fastest. I originally thought she could reach level 7 at most, as a result, it suddenly reached the 7th level full value state. If she hadn't had any evolution points. 5 days ago, I was able to evolve to the 8th level. As for Suzian. Not surprisingly. At most half a month. His brilliance can evolve to the assault ship level. Another thing to say is. He customized the keel from the Universe Technology Group as well as purchased parts, and so on. They all spent a lot of money to have two battleships deliver the stars to him personally. As for why there are two battleships? Very simple. One of them was sent to the Gold Mercury star system. The other ship was, of course, sent to the location of the other brilliant ship. It's just the cost of express delivery. It cost Suzian a total of 300 million. But Suzian has a lot of cash now. Remarkable. To evolve more conveniently. This expense is also necessary. Several people walked around the support spacecraft. The style inside is actually somewhat similar to that of a space relay station. They are all closed, but there are many shops and merchants. Just like an ordinary city, it is very prosperous. After shopping around for a few times, they finally chose a restaurant that looked pretty good and went in. Before anyone could sit down, Qin Meimu and Fu Xing hurriedly took Su Liaoan to the next door for a drink. Hu Chichi and other girls have long been accustomed to ordering dishes on their own. As for Lone Wolf and the others, they were too sensible to follow. 
In this regard, Suzy Ann said that they are very discerning. Only. Suzy Ann and Qin Fuyue had just left for a while. A group of people also walked in from outside, several of them have spotted erect ears and a brown-gray tail with spots on the back. Miao Xiaomi also seemed to feel something. Looking towards the door, he suddenly stood up and stared at them murderously. There were several people at the door, and he saw Miao. Instantly accounted for. Everyone also started to grin. Atmosphere. He instantly became murderous. Hyena Terran. Following the cold words spit out from Miao Xiaomi's red lips, the expressions of the people opposite suddenly changed wildly. One by one, they stared at Miao Xiaomi fiercely, with murderous intent filling their eyes. You little cat, do you have the guts to say it again? The term hyena people is the most hated word among the hyena people. Although they do have some hyena blood, they are absolutely unwilling to admit it. Miao Miao hasn't spoken yet. Taimei, Hu Chichi, and Bai Xiaoyuan stood up immediately. Taimei growled with a cold face, hyena tribe. Hyena tribe, hyena tribe. What can you do to me? I just called you, what can you do? Huchichi sneered, they are not even willing to admit their own bloodline, so they are indeed a race that digs out their anus and engages in sneak attacks. Although Bai Xiaonyao didn't speak, his big ruby eyes looked at these people with disdain and didn't speak. But silence is better than sound. They don't care about the grudges between the hyena tribe and the civet tribe. However, if Miao Xiaomi had a conflict with someone, they would not care about it at all and would definitely stand by Miao Xiaomi unconditionally. Being ridiculed by these women, the hyena human suddenly became furious. He glanced over with a sinister look, and after confirming that there was no trace of the orthodox human race around Miao Xiaomi, a cruel curve appeared at the corner of his mouth. The fox people, rabbit people, and titans didn't dare to move. But Miao 500 Xiaomi, and the others dare to move. I definitely wouldn't dare to kill him, but I would give Miao Little a lesson, or even maim him. Absolutely no problem. Because there is hatred between the two races, the Federation will not care as long as it is not too excessive. Thinking of this, the expressions of the hyena tribe became cruel, since you are seeking death, then you can't blame us. Brothers, come on. Give these stinky bitches a lesson. Just when they were about to attack Miao Xiaomi and the others, Miao Xiaomi and the girls were also ready to fight. Suddenly, snapped. Suddenly a figure flashed past, and heavy slaps resounded throughout the audience. Everyone watching the show cast surprised glances, and both sides who were preparing to fight froze at the same time. The key is not to mention this. Snapped. 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 There are four hyena human races in total, without any exception. Even if the remaining few started to block and dodge in various ways. But there was no way he could avoid this slap. TMD, who was hitting? The hyena human being who was slapped first was furious, turned his head and was about to pounce on him with all his strength, but froze in vain. What they saw in front of them was a tall and handsome young man, looking at them with cold eyes. When they looked carefully, the face of the beaten hyena human suddenly changed, orthodox human? His expression suddenly changed, d, to cloudy and uncertain. The others also covered their faces and were reluctant to step forward. The interstellar era of the universe. Although the human race in the universe pays attention to equality, t, a vassal is, after all, just a vassal. The non-orthodox human race and the orthodox human race cannot be equal. A very simple metaphor. When an orthodox human race and an unorthodox human race have a conflict, they fight each other, then those who are punished must be the unorthodox human race. After all, the human race in the universe is dominated by the orthodox human race. I'll give you equal treatment, no problem. But you want to enjoy the same privileges as the orthodox human race, and even ride on the head of the orthodox human race to shit. Just ask how stiff your neck is? Such as now. Suzian slapped each of them. But they just covered their faces, everyone who dared to come forward. They dared to attack Miao Xiaomi, Hu Chi and the others, 
That's because Miao Xiaomi and the others are also a vassal race of the orthodox human race. But now Su Zian, an orthodox human race, is here, and they are going to take action again. The nature is different, especially if this orthodox human race also has a relatively high status background. Even if you kill them, Su Zian will only suffer a little punishment, and he will not even pay for it with his life. If the orthodox human race doesn't even have this privilege. So what are the ancestors of the orthodox human race who conquered such a vast territory of the universe? Want to let these vassal races who have contributed nothing enjoy the good life they exchanged with their lives and blood? Dreaming. After Su Zian slapped each of these hyena humans, he looked at them coldly, want to teach me a lesson? Who gave you this courage? Several hyena humans covered their faces and remained silent. Finally they looked at each other, didn't dare to say anything, turned around and ran away in despair. As for what they were going to do, Suzian was too lazy to care. He walked to his son and daughter, raised his hand and rubbed Miao Xiaomi's hair, and pinched her tender and fluffy ears, it's okay. When they find an opportunity later, they will take revenge. Now, you'd better work hard to strengthen yourself, they are not weak. I just felt it. They are all warrior-level warriors. Miao Xiaomi's grinning appearance was immediately gone. Her pretty, baby-fat face instantly turned red, reaching her neck and ears. Even her two snow-white cat ears seemed to have turned red. Her beautiful eyes became panicked, and she stammered, I, I know. I will work harder. Oh, you, please stop touching my ears. At this time, Miao Xiaomi no longer looked like her usual arrogant, shy, and flustered look, which made Su Zian feel very happy. Okay, okay, are the dishes finished? Let's eat first, don't let a few puppies affect your mood. Su Zian withdrew his hand. He was afraid that if he touched it any more, Miao Xiaomi would collapse to the ground. The girls nodded repeatedly and sat down one after another. Only Qin Fuyue was sitting next to Su Zian with her little mouth pouted and her nose humming. Then the little head kept dangling in front of Su Zian intentionally or unintentionally. It seems to be hinting at something. Su Zian smiled. After raising her hand and touching Qin Fuyue's head, Qin Fuyue smiled sweetly. Satisfied. Next, no one was affected by those hyena humans. Disputes are too common in the universe. However, those hyena humans didn't seem to want to give up. Just when everyone had just finished their meal and was about to pay and leave. Outside the restaurant, a group of people came in an aggressive manner. At the head are six young men and women from the orthodox human race. Behind them were the four hyena humans who had been slapped by Su Zian before. At this time, they were following the six orthodox human races, one by one, riding in front and behind. Su Zian raised his eyebrows. Is this a spanking? Is the dog owner here? Interesting. Before these people arrived, the tall and thick young man at the head glanced coldly at Su Zian and his group, and finally settled on Su Zian, you're the one who beat me? Su Zian nodded calmly, yes, what, what do you think? A trace of anger flashed across the man's face, quite arrogant. Since you have admitted it yourself, then give me an explanation. Otherwise, I won't be able to get through this matter today. Suzian shook his head, I don't have an explanation. Let me tell you why I can't get through this matter. I'm quite curious about this. This man suddenly frowned and stared at Suzian for a while. He can confirm that he does not know Suzian. He knew almost all of the young geniuses from the top forces in the Chongyue Star Territory. Without knowing, it's definitely not a top force. Thinking of this, he suddenly became determined. As long as they are not the top forces in the Cheongyu Star Territory, there is no one in the Cheongyu Star Territory that the Tian family cannot afford to offend. Suddenly he raised his hand and slapped Su Zian hard on the cheek. At the same time, he sneered, then ride on the horse and die for me. Very fast and powerful. But how could Su Zian, who had been on guard for a long time, be slapped by him? His eyes suddenly turned cold. Raise your hand. At a faster pace. A slap across the face. 
snapped. There was a crisp sound, and then Su Zian kicked the opponent hard with another Foshan shadowless kick. The man's burly body immediately flew upside down like a kite without strings. The person was in the air, mouthfuls of blood spitting out. Court death. The other five young men and women suddenly became angry and wanted to charge forward, but Su Zian suddenly pulled out the alloy sword from behind and the overwhelming murderous aura that came out of the mountain of corpses and sea of blood instantly filled the air. It's like the surrounding temperature has dropped several degrees. Coupled with Su Zian's cold, emotionless eyes. At this moment, the five people seemed to have pressed the pause button. For a time, no one dared to step forward again. Because they can feel it. The young man in front of me really dared to kill them. But they would never dare to kill Su Zian. I was shocked immediately. Everyone stood there, you looked at me, I looked at you, and for a while, no one dared to step forward. Seeing this situation, Chen Zian was stunned. That's it? I thought it was so awesome. At this time, the young man was kicked away by Su Zian. Fortunately, he had space armor, otherwise this kick would have broken several of his ribs. After taking a few breaths of relief, the glances around him made him feel that he was completely embarrassed today. Suddenly he roared at Su Zian, CNM, do you know who I am? Su Zian's eyes narrowed, and suddenly his figure flashed and appeared next to this person as fast as lightning. When everyone was stunned, they actually raised the knife in their hands and slashed at his neck. Everyone around was frightened. The next second, the young man lying on the ground finally widened his eyes. He was so horrified that he rolled and crawled to dodge. Just as he dodged, the knife hit the floor with a ping-pong sound, causing a little spark to fly. A crack appeared in front of everyone. The people around him were stunned, and the young man broke into cold sweats instantly. Is this person crazy? How could he really dare to take action? Is he really planning to kill me? He never expected it. I want to stand up for my team members. But I met this madman. At this time, Su Zian slashed the air with his sword, looked at him, and sneered, then do you know who I am? Believe it or not, I killed you, and I won't even be punished? Su Zian's words are really not bragging. First. He was in self-defense. The reason is that the other party took the initiative to provoke him. And it was the other party who struck first, even though the other party didn't hit him. With this prerequisite, no one else is needed. Fourth senior sister Lu Yuyu can protect herself in this day and age. Self-defense has the highest authority. Hashtag MJ. And my third senior brother. Fair enough, this world has it. But that only exists when the strength, power, and background of both parties are similar. As long as the other side is stronger, there won't be much fairness. With the prerequisite that the other party takes action first, as long as the background behind you is strong enough, then you will really have nothing to do with it. Of course. Su Zian didn't really want to kill people because of this. He was just trying to scare the other person. He really had murderous intentions just now, and there was no way he could hide from him. Really. This young man and that group of people were all approved. First, I was shocked by Su Zian's crazy energy. Secondly, I was also shocked by Su Zian's words. As the saying goes, those who are violent are afraid of those who risk their lives, and those who are desperate are afraid of those who are mentally ill. The attitude Su Zian is showing now is not to fall into the category of being a little bit crazy. Which normal person would have such a conflict and directly kill someone? Brother. Big brother. Wrong. We were wrong. At this time, seeing that Su Zian was about to take action again, the group finally panicked. Su Zian dared to kill them, but they did not dare to kill Su Zia. Besides, speaking of it, they were the ones who came to provoke me first. So one of the young men quickly apologized. Su Zian's raised knife suddenly paused, his eyes swept across the frightened people, and then he sneered, then get out of here. Maid, why are you pretending to be crazy in front of me? Roll. This group of people didn't dare to say anything. 
Those hyena humans didn't even dare to lift their heads, so they carried the burly young man and ran away with their tails between their legs. Susie ensnared and didn't bother to care about them anymore. Just this kind of stuff. It's not worthy of him to look at it more than once. What else are you looking at? Let's go. Susie and turned around and saw several women looking at him with big eyes full of little stars, and he suddenly smiled. Chin Fuyua smiled, walked quickly to Suzy and took Suzy and's elbow, and exhaled, You were, so handsome just now. Even Bai Xiaoyao nodded, Yes, yes, you were so handsome just now. It feels so safe. One person can suppress the other ten people without even uttering a word. He is worthy of being the captain of our dazzling fleet. Handsome. Hu Chichi didn't say anything, but just blinked her big eyes at Suzy and. Those fox eyes were full of tenderness, and there seemed to be ripples in her eyes. Please give me flowers, Zero. Miao Xiaomi pursed her red lips and said nothing, but... Looking at Su Zian's eyes, he seemed to be a little gentler. As for Taimei? Oh. This violent maniac was still gearing up, but it was a pity that those people were so cowardly that they ran away. What happened here seems to be just a small episode. That group of people did not appear again. Su Zian ignored them at all. As more and more people arrive. The popularity here has also begun to increase. Su Zian and his group did not attract much attention. Again. Su Zian may be quite famous in the Earth Federation. But now not only has he left the Earth Federation, he has even left his star field and came to another star field. Therefore, few people know Su Zian's name, nor do they know the name Brilliant Fleet. Su Zian also wished for this. Because in the early stage, the girls are definitely not as good as these top geniuses. Therefore, if you can keep a low profile in the early stage, it is best to be low-key. In the mid-term, he evolved into an assault ship, and all the girls evolved into the assault ship one after another, that time. This is when the dazzling fleet truly shines. Perhaps they are the only thing that attracts attention. It was the brilliant fleet, except for Bai Xiaoyuan, the rest are all frigates. And except for one of them. The other several frigates were all extremely long, wide and high, which attracted a lot of people's attention. But that's about it. Maximum length, width and height. Although rare in the universe. But it's not really that rare. What's more, most of this fleet is a fleet of frigates. It really doesn't attract many people's attention. Just waiting like this. Rodent Exterminator Project. It's finally getting started. The total number of participants reached 3,600. From multiple forces. Brilliant fleet, on this day. All preparations were made. However, after getting started, there is one more important thing. Hashtag BT. Brilliant number. Evolving into an assault ship. Rodent Exterminator Project. It's already in full swing. However, there was still no movement in the Brilliant Fleet. Because the time period when the Rat Exterminator Pioneer Plan just started happened to be when Su Zian, a first grade general, had full bioenergy. That will definitely have to wait until the Starship evolves into an assault ship before actually entering the arena. There are nearly 300,000 starships. It's not a big deal to waste a few days. In the Evolution Factory, that supports the spacecraft. Su Zian launched the evolution of Tsaohao. This time evolution, it's not just about evolving the brilliance from a frigate to an assault ship. It also takes its quality beyond pink perfection to reach the level of unparalleled purple. Because the quality of purple Wuxuan requires a lot of evolution values, Su Zian currently plans to evolve only its main parts into purple Wuxuan. Even for the other brilliant ship, he did not intend to evolve the purple unparalleled quality, and still maintained the pink perfect quality first. After the evolution value is enough, consider evolving the two brilliant ships to the same quality, 2 or 3 zero. Honor Series Keel Customized by Universe Technology Group it represents its highest technological level in the assault ship stage. The materials used are all made with the high commercial secrets of the Universe Technology Group. 
It has super high strength, hardness, toughness, and fit. And the internal layout is extremely reasonable. The data on the maximum length, width, and height of the assault ship are Length, 499.9 meters, width, 99.9 meters, height, 49.9 meters. This keel can be said to have been pushed to the limit, without missing a beat. As for the brilliant number, which has more than doubled in size, once it evolves according to this data. It's hard to imagine how powerful its performance will be. The other thing is the heavy hydrogen atom cannon. This concentrated cannon alone occupies a huge volume of the starship. It is impossible to get two guns. First, there is not so much space. Second, the two main guns cannot be of the same type. Otherwise, if one day in the future you encounter an enemy with super high defense against this kind of shells, you will be at a huge disadvantage. Maintaining at least two different types of main guns is a must for every biological captain. The second main gun still chose the thermal penetrating bullet that Su Zian used most. The heavy hydrogen atom-shaped energy cannon is an energy type, and a thermal energy type is just right. For the rest of the parts, Su Zian also chose the best ones. The final cost of parts and components for such a brilliant ship alone exceeded 3 billion, exceeding Su Zian's expectations. Evolution has officially begun. It still devours and evolves from the keel. The brilliance, with a total length of 269.9 meters, began to grow in size as it was devoured. While swallowing, Su Zian will also throw a large amount of high-end metals and a small amount of natural materials and treasures into it, allowing it to break through the current quality limitations and reach the level of purple unparalleled. Around. The girls were practicing and watching curiously. Su Zian didn't come in, so of course they wouldn't come in either. Without Su Zian, they would not be confident enough to compete with those top geniuses. Unless their starships are all assault ships of the same level as those geniuses. However, the Lone Wolf team entered first. Their strength is not bad, and the quality of the starships is not very low either. Among the people who participated, they were not the worst, just about average. Evolution. It's boring and long. As parts and components were devoured by the Brilliant, the assault ship level Brilliant finally gradually revealed its ferocious appearance. This time, Su Zian no longer evolved to look simple and honest, but to be as ferocious and ferocious as he could be. At a glance, one can tell that this is a starship built purely for combat in the true sense. This evolution lasted for 10 days in total. When all evolution is complete, the original appearance is no longer visible at all. The brand new and completely different brilliant number is parked here quietly, showing an unparalleled sense of oppression. Just by looking at it, it seems that you can feel the terror of this number. The appearance is very ferocious. Your interior decoration is still Suzian's usual simple and sci-fi style. As soon as you walk in, you will feel comfortable. Visited the exterior and interior. These are the performance parameters of the starship. Even if you have already prepared. But when they actually saw the overall data of the brilliant number, the girls were still shocked. The pink and purple fonts take up all the sight. The overall quality comes to purple unparalleled. However, because only a very small part of the parts have evolved to the purple unparalleled quality, it is impossible to activate the overall characteristics. But even so, it's terrifying enough. The main components that have evolved to purple unparalleled quality are dash, heal, main gun, energy shield, core armor, cloaking devices and cloaking coatings, detection radar and locking radar, and the star crystal light brain. That's all. The purple unparalleled quality does cost a bit too much evolution value. Almost all the evolution value Suzian had accumulated before were exhausted. Fortunately, the next rodent eradication pioneer plan is in place. If nothing else, you will get a huge amount of evolution value. Brilliant, Assault Ship, Purple Unparalleled. Keel, Purple Unparalleled. Feature 1, Defense Increased by 38%, Feature 2, Defense Increased by 38%, Feature 3, Defense Increased by 38%, Characteristic 4, 
toughness increased by 38%, feature 5, rigidity increased by 38%, heavy hydrogen atomic energy cannon, purple unparalleled, feature 1, penetration increased by 38%, feature 2, penetration increased by 38%, feature 3, penetration increased by 38%, feature 4, penetration increased by 38%, feature 5, penetration increased by 38%, unparalleled quality in purple. Not only the features come to 5. And the increase and decrease in characteristics reached 38%. And the features can be stacked. For example, heavy hydrogen atom-shaped energy cannon. If calculated, it is equivalent to an increase of 190% in penetration power on top of the already extremely terrifying penetration power, a nearly twofold increase. It's absolutely terrifying. Let's put it that way. An ordinary assault ship is in front of today's brilliance. It can't even withstand a single shot, but it can directly defeat its energy protection and armor core armor. In a real sense, you can achieve instant sales. See the current data of Quaconho. The girl's beautiful eyes shone, looking forward to the day when their starships would evolve to such a powerful level. Among them, Qin Fuyue regretted the most, regretting why she chose Dawn Starship Academy in the first place. If I choose Shenzhou University, like Suzian, I'm afraid she won't let the brilliant fleet hold back like this now. The brilliant number has evolved. Next, naturally, it is time to officially enter the battlefield. During these 10 days. It was very lively inside. There are tons of situations happening every day. For example, the fleet of a certain force can be called a monster. For example, a certain force's fleet was almost destroyed by an enemy cruiser. Etc, etc. And in the past 10 days, quite a few participants had their starships blown up and they themselves were killed as well. 0.4, so far, more than 20 people have died. In addition, on the points ranking list. Currently, those with the highest personal and fleet points are all occupied by people from a top family called the Lu family in the Cheongyu Star Territory. Lu family. It is no exaggeration to say that it is the most powerful force in the entire Cheongyu Star Territory. He controls the sphere of influence of several star clusters. It is more appropriate to say that he is a family, but actually, it is better to call him an emperor. But it doesn't really matter what this force is called, just know that it is strong enough. According to the information Suzian knows, the Lu family has more than two immortal ships and more than 30 star destroyers. At least compared to the Earth Federation, it is much stronger. But. Suzian just glanced at it a few times and stopped paying attention. Because he officially joined, the brilliant fleet officially joined. So this first position. It's time to change. Just right. He was very eager to feel it now. The new assault ship class brilliance. How strong is it? We have just entered the battlefield. The dazzling fleet ushered in its first show of strength. A destroyer-level starship, perhaps because the brilliant fleet only has two assault ships, and it is easy to bully at first glance. Then he went straight towards the brilliant fleet and killed him. Suzian is excited. Immediately shouted in the communicator, don't move, all of you. This destroyer lets me come. Suzian said enthusiastically. Naturally, the girls had no objections. At the frigate level, the brilliance can destroy a destroyer in single combat, let alone today's level. And there are so many purple and incomparable parts, it's almost mind-numbing. They wanted to see it too. Today's brilliant number. How tyrannical is it? Just thinking about it. The brand new brilliance, from its original high-speed state, entered the top speed almost in the next second, showing the terrifying power of its engine's rapid acceleration in advance. With just such a rapid acceleration, he easily dodged those non-tracking projectiles. As for tracking the shells. Simpler. Because of the opponent's locking radar, the TMID cannot lock the Tsuetsan at all. Purple Peerless Quality Stealth Device, the same quality stealth coating 11, and pink perfect quality anti-radar lock generator. 
Its superb anti-locking performance and stealth performance. Making the brilliance look like a ghost in front of the opponent's detection radar and locking radar. It can be seen with the naked eye, but your radar equipment can't detect the other party at all. In this situation, tell me what to lock. Therefore, after the opponent's main gun and secondary gun have lost their corresponding locking capabilities, their accuracy is even worse. The brilliant number dodged away with extreme ease. Suzian, in order to test how powerful the current brilliant number was, he did not immediately behead him. Instead, a simple shaped shell from the heavy hydrogen atom shaped cannon was fired towards the opponent's engine. The quality of the secondary guns from the battleship was also upgraded to purple by Suzian. The opponent's starship, which is blue at best and rare, and may even be green and high quality, is as if it is made of paper. The energy shield was easily penetrated, the core armor outside the engine was still easily penetrated, and was easily destroyed by the shot. See here. All the girls exclaimed in surprise, especially Miao Xiaomi. Her starship, when it evolved into an assault ship, could also have such a main gun. She was even fantasizing about driving such a powerful starship and shooting a destroyer. Look at the opponent's destroyer again. I was so scared that I lost my soul. Without saying a word, he turned around and ran away. The captain of the destroyer finally understood. What he thought was a little lamb now looks like. Where is the little lamb? It is clearly a wolf in sheep's clothing. If you don't run away at this time, your brain will be flooded. But it's a pity. Suzian would never let him leave. Follow closely behind, one shot after another. Every shot. Their armor will be easily penetrated. There is no way to escape. No matter how he defends, no matter how he dodges. The brilliance cannonballs are like they have eyes. Finally, Suzian completed the test and won it easily. A lot of evolution values were recorded. If you enter the account in this way, with a maximum of six ships, it can be enough to evolve to the evolution value of a second level assault ship, the kind with shifted quality. This is normal. Again, if you want to gain something, you must give something. When the brilliance is so powerful, high's evolution value is needed to set it off. If there are 9 ships, then their evolution value is enough to evolve the brilliance to the second tier assault ship level with 100% purple unparalleled quality. And when it comes to mid-level assault ships, more are needed, and even more are needed for high-level assault ships. After calculation, if Suzian wants to evolve the brilliance to the level of a 10th level assault ship with 100% overall purple unparalleled quality, then a total of about 110 destroyers need to be killed. To know. This is just one of the brilliant ships. Seriously. This is really too scary. Which ordinary assault ship captain can leapfrog and kill so many destroyers? And there aren't that many opportunities for you to kill them. Even Suzian. In fact, he didn't even plan to upgrade the quality to 100% overall purple, incomparable quality at the assault ship level. Because at this stage, it is really more than enough. Even if we fight against those cruisers, I don't know if we can kill them, but at least there is absolutely no problem in saving our lives. This is enough. If there are more evolution values, it is better to keep them. Leave it to later, when you reach the destroyer level, to improve the overall purple unparalleled quality by 100%. Because the lower the starship level, the greater the gap. Therefore, the 100% overall purple unparalleled quality at the destroyer level allows Suzian to fight against the cruiser as easily as the destroyer he just killed. To put it simply, if you want to maintain the ability to leapfrog combat at different levels in the future, in addition to his own Star Wars abilities that need to be constantly improved and evolved. The improvement of starship quality must be continued. Otherwise, the result will be that you can advance two levels, but you can only advance one level later. After that, you can only save your life in front of enemies of a higher level. After that, it can only be stronger than those of the same level. Because in the later stages of starships, the gap between starships is really too big. Now the difference in length 
width and height is only a few hundred at most, or a few thousand at most. But after arriving, the difference is often tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of meters in length, width, and height. What do you use to fight against someone one level above? Non-existent. It doesn't exist at all. Only super high quality. So that you can always stay strong. Of course, these are things for the future. There is absolutely no need to think about this issue now. After killing the destroyer, the group of people Sher Shiran left. As for the parts of this destroyer, how can you say that I, Suzian, am now a person with tens of billions of cash in my hands, right? Do you still care about these millions? The CamCan even eliminated a large amount of warehouse space to install more useful parts, such as the anti-radar lock generator. It is a medium to large size component newly installed by Suzian. There are millions of different types of Starship parts. In the past, only the most basic mainstream components were installed on the brilliant model. More parts mean more space is needed for installation. As the opponents faced by the brilliance are getting higher and higher, naturally the more parts and components installed, the more powerful the brilliance combat effectiveness will be. And after killing this destroyer. In the cab, the personal points ranking list is virtually displayed on the Xinjing optical computer. After Su 330 Zian's name, 20 points suddenly increased. Don't look at it, it's only 20 points. But in the personal points rankings, Su Zian actually entered the top 1,800. This is normal. Killing a scout ship only earns 1 point. Killing a frigate only costs 2 points. Kill an assault ship only 5 points. If someone else in the team takes action, it must be divided evenly among the team. In 10 days, everyone is still in the exploratory stage. Therefore, it is not surprising that he entered the 1800th place with 20 points. But I want to get first place. Next, it seems that we have to hunt like crazy, because the genius from the Lu family who ranked first was called a monster. Now it has a full 390 points. According to the calculation of reconnaissance ships, he killed a total of 390 ships in these 10 days. Of course that is definitely impossible, obviously. This person should have killed a lot of destroyers to have such a high score. Among the top 10, the scores of others are also not low. After all, they are all top-notch geniuses, so there won't be much difference. Even 10th place. There are also a full 212 points. It seems that I was thinking about bringing a few girls to the personal ranking list. It's obviously a big challenge. But for the sake of his own income, Su Zian decided to take up this challenge himself. Su Zian first set a small goal for himself. Within three days. Not only did he personally enter the top 10. We also want to bring our dazzling fleet to the top 10 together. Such a happy decision. If you're enjoying my content, please consider donating a coffee. Or checking out my shirts on Tee Public Gold Mercury Star System. Although dilapidated. But on its planet. You can still see the traces of human civilization left before it was abandoned. The extremely dilapidated steel jungle, as well as a large number of various types of spaceships and starships turned into scrap metal. There are also a large number of lakes, oceans, jungles, mountains, and other areas. These areas. It is most suitable for those human traders to hide. Because of this matter, there was no intention to hide it from these human traders. These human traders also know. They are bound to die, but if they can live one more day, they naturally hope to live one more day. Hiding in every corner of these planets in the gold mercury star system. Don't look at the number of more than 200,000 and nearly 300,000, which is very terrifying. And the starships are so big, is it possible that they still can't be found? Actually not. After actually entering the battlefield of the Jin Shui star system, you will find that you can hardly see the enemy here. A mere few hundred thousand starships are like a handful of sand in the desert to the celestial units of the universe, not to mention hundreds of thousands of ships, but millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of ships, a star system can be stopped easily, and you can't even see it. 
Among the inhabited star systems, among the number of spaceships and starships docked every day, which one does not start at tens of billions? Even a star system with only tens of billions of spaceships and starships is just a small Kalami in the universe, a very backward one. And the reason why Suzian and the others were attacked by a destroyer just after entering a certain planet, the reason is also very simple. It was because Suzian and the others happened to enter the range of this destroyer by chance. In addition, the destroyer captain was a little depressed. After seeing the configuration of the brilliant fleet, he thought that even if he died, he could drag this team of geniuses to be buried with him. His death was worth it. So that scene happened. In fact, when we actually came in, except for this destroyer, we didn't see a single hair. At this time, the first planet that Suzian and the others chose to land on was a small to medium-sized solid planet in the Golden Water Star System. Planet Skull. And because there was a life support system to maintain it for a long time. The environment that was originally similar to Mars has now formed its own unique ecosystem. Entering, you will see a lush scene. From some areas, you can vaguely see the traces of human civilization. In addition to these, you can occasionally see traces of battles that have broken out in some areas recently. Everyone, follow me closely. Follow our previous plan. If I encounter a destroyer, I will take action alone. If you encounter the kind that come in groups, just go up together and kill them. We must reach the top 10 within 3 days. Then try to hit the first place. Su Liaoan's voice rang out from the brilliant fleet's communicator. When the girls heard this, they responded with a little excitement. Yeah. I know, I know, this is Qin Fuyue. Understood, reaching the top 10 in 3 days, it seems we are going to be famous. Hu Chi-Chi's voice was still so soft and charming. I don't care about my ranking, what I care about is how much evolution value it can provide me. Now I just want to evolve to the 10th level as soon as possible, and then break through to the assault ship in one fell swoop and install the heavy hydrogen atomic cannon. This is Miao Xiaomi's proud voice. Bai Xiaoyuan was as quiet as ever and did not participate in the conversation, as for Thailand and the United States. Ho ho ho. Kill. All right. This is very beautiful. Su Zian directly turned on the detection area of Su Itzan to the maximum power. Although this is only a small to medium-sized planet in the Venus-Mercury star system. But there is a saying that even so, it is much larger than the Earth. I want to scan the entire planet from the sky, the ground, and the bottom of the sea. Su Zian estimated that it would be impossible to live without half a month. After all, the detection range is only that large. No matter how big it is, the detection results will not be so accurate. As long as the opponent's stealth ability is slightly stronger, it will be easily avoided by the opponent. What's more, mountains and oceans actually have considerable natural protection against lightning and detection. But Su Zian is not in a hurry. Now he has more time. In front of the purple unparalleled quality detection radar, the traces of the enemy are almost invisible. The scanning and searching probably took only two or three hours. An enemy fleet was scanned, however, this fleet is just a starship fleet with only one assault ship, and the rest are all reconnaissance ships and frigates. They are all hidden in caves on the seabed. If the Brilliance's detection radar had not been powerful enough, it would not even be possible to scan them. And if even Suzian can't scan it, don't expect anyone else to be able to scan it. Anyway, Su Zian didn't believe that the quality of anyone's starship could surpass his own purple, incomparable one. This fleet is left to you. You guys can handle it here. I'll continue to look around to see if there's any. Su Zian casually shared the data to the girl's star crystal optical brains, and then ran out alone to continue searching. For him. A fleet of this level. He could no longer think of killing him at all. Too unchallenging and the evolution value obtained is pitiful. Su Zian didn't have that spare time. If you have this time, you might as well search more, just in case you find a destroyer or something. Secondly, although he did not participate in the battle. But if the team takes action, 
it will be counted as fleet points. So it doesn't matter if Suzian is not here now. Anyway, the final fleet points will not be less, and it will not affect the top 10 fleet rankings at all. The girls were not surprised at all. They can easily handle a fleet at this level. Without Suzian, they can still get more evolution points. In this way, you can evolve to the assault ship level earlier. The power of Suzian's brilliant number. But it makes them salivate. As expected. With Suzian's detailed coordinate guidance, the girls took the lead and dealt the most ferocious blow to the enemy hidden tens of thousands of meters under the sea. Seeing that his whereabouts were exposed, and most of the fleet was frigates. This group of human traders immediately started to fight back one by one. Unfortunately, what they encountered was the brilliant fleet. That destroyer was easily dispatched by the girls. Not to mention the remaining reconnaissance ships and frigates. It only lasted about 10 minutes. This fleet was easily eliminated by the girls. At the same time, Suzian was also lucky enough to encounter a destroyer. And it seems to be a high-level destroyer. Suzian immediately became energetic. Seeing how arrogant Suzian's assault ship was, the other party immediately started fighting with Suzian, can only say. The man died a terrible death. Three days in a row. Suzian and the brilliant fleet were like crazy. Start looking for and hunting down human traitors in large numbers. The progress even exceeded Suzian's expectations. It was originally estimated that it would take three days to enter the top ten. In fact, it was only two days, Qian Zhao, Su Zian, and the brilliant fleet. They both entered the top 10. Su Zian has been completely crazy these days. He specifically looked for those destroyers to kill. The key lies in the terrifying detection radar of the brilliance. Everything you hide will be hidden. In just three days, Su Zian searched for and then killed more than a dozen destroyers. With 20 points per ship, Suzian has now reached the 10th place in the personal standings. Needless to say, the brilliant fleet. Suzian never made a move. But the fighting power of the girls is really quite strong. As long as there are no destroyers in the team, and even very few cruisers. Given, if you encounter it, kill it directly. That points. There are also the evolution values of the girls. It is also rising crazily. And at the same time. Suzian's name. There is also the name Hall of the Brilliant Fleet. He finally appeared in front of the big guys from the Cheongyu Star region, as well as the monsters and geniuses, and it appeared in such a shocking way. It also attracted the attention of countless people. Congratulations, Master Lu, your Earth Federation has produced some evil geniuses. Tisk, TSK, especially the one named Suzian. I think his starship has just evolved into an assault ship. His strength. This person named Suzian probably not only has a very high quality starship, but also his personal combat ability, which I think is the most terrifying. Yeah, if it wasn't shown in the data, I would even doubt whether this Suzian is a veteran who has fought on the battlefield for hundreds or thousands of years. The ability to dodge. The accuracy of attacks, it's like the waves behind the Yangtze River, push the waves ahead. Haha, <laughs> Lao Lu, now your Kalinzi has met his match. Haha, <laughs> only with competition can we grow. I really wish that my boy could be suppressed by others, so that he can know that there are people outside the world, and there is a sky outside the world. Inside a very large support spacecraft. A group of top bosses from the Cheongyua Star Territory were chatting and laughing. What they talked about the most was Su Zian and his brilliant fleet. Then from time to time, someone would clasp their fists at Lu Yu to express congratulations. Lu Yu is a fifth grade evolutionist and a fifth grade advanced evolutionist. What is higher? Except for the first level of evolution master, every level thereafter is actually divided into elementary and advanced levels. For example, a second level evolver can evolve frigates and assault ships. Those who can evolve frigates are second grade elementary evolvers. Those who can evolve assault ships are second grade advanced evolvers. 
Suzian is now a second grade advanced evolutionist. Being able to evolve a destroyer means that Suzian has reached the third level evolver category 517. Another example is Lu Yuyu, she is a fifth grade evolutionist. A fifth level evolver can evolve star destroyers and immortal ships. Lu Yuyu is an evolutionist who can evolve immortal ships, so she is naturally a fifth grade advanced evolutionist. Such an evolutionist would be very happy to make friends with the top bosses in the star field next door. After all, no one knows whether the day will come when begging for someone else's help. Or, Lu Yuyu is an evil genius among evolutionists. The most obvious characteristic of the evil genius evolutionist is. The quality of starships is higher than those of the same level. Grow faster. Maybe one day, Lu Yuyu will break through and become a sixth grade evolutionist. Of course, the most important thing is that I heard that Lu Yuyu's master is the master of Zhendong Lu Yuan. That's the real big shot. Therefore, it is said that if Lu Yuyu is able to curry favor and build a good relationship, he should try his best to curry favor and build a good relationship. But there is one thing to say. The content of their praises was not just for the sake of being nice. In fact, they were really amazed. Listening to the praises of the big guys, especially my own junior brother. Lu Yuyu's big eyes narrowed in laughter. On her beautiful face, there was visible joy and a bit of elation. It was as if they were praising their junior brother just as much as they were praising her, but there is something to be said. Even she herself was really shocked by Su Zian. It's not the quality of the brilliance, but Su Liao and Star Wars strength. Because she discovered that Su Zian's Star Wars strength seemed to be getting stronger every day. It can only be said that Su Zian's Star Wars talent is indeed the strongest and most outrageous among the people she has ever seen. Even beyond the scope of ordinary evil geniuses. But since he is my junior brother, Lu Yu Yu, of course the more powerful the better. The other side, on a certain planet in the Goldwater star system. In a fleet. The young man who was beaten by Su Zian looked at Su Zian's message with gloomy eyes and snorted coldly. The expression is slightly ferocious. He was going to swallow his anger. Who knows the result? This person named Su Zian, for half a day, is actually from an alien space? And behind it, there is not some super awesome force, but a force similar to theirs, what is it called the Earth Federation? Then why are you so awesome in front of me? I remember that in all my life, I have never suffered such humiliation as I did that day. Takagi immediately became angry. He said gloomily, okay, very good. I thought someone from an extraterrestrial realm was so awesome. Wait, wait for me. Dao Muli's gloomy words made the rest of the people's expressions change. Brother Gao, don't say goodbye. We can't do this rodent vanguard plan privately. Yes, brother Gao, calm down and wait until the rodent vanguard plan is over, and then we will come back for revenge. That's right, I already know his identity anyway, so I'm not afraid of him running away. This group of people persuaded again and again. Gao Muli glanced at them coldly, snorted coldly, and said, I, Gao Muli, have never suffered such a big loss, but I'm not stupid, and I definitely won't attack him casually. But, the regulations just say that you can't do it in the rodent vanguard plan area, and there's no rule that you can't do it in the rest area, right? Having said this, Gao Muli suddenly looked at the hyena people and said, coldly, pay attention to their movements at all times. As soon as you find an opportunity, go up and start fighting. But remember, don't fight with that Su Zian, and definitely don't fight with that orthodox human race, beg, woman. Otherwise, I can't protect you, don't you have a grudge against that civic cat human race? Just do it to her. Even if you are disabled, as long as you are not beaten to death, I can protect you. The hyena humans looked at each other. One of them hesitated and said, Captain. What if that Suzian attacks us? Gao Muli smiled coldly, what I want is for him to take action against you. If he doesn't take action, how can we find a reason to take action against him? Several hyena humans opened their mouths and wanted to say something, but hesitated and finally did not say anything. Gao Muli glanced at them and said calmly, 
I know what you want to say. Last time, it was just a sneak attack by him, and he was also shocked. Now that we are prepared, the ten of us are all warrior-level warriors. How can we still defeat them? That's it, it's been decided. When you take action, just beat me to death. Of course, we must also be careful not to kill anyone. Otherwise, we won't end up well. Although they are from the outer space, the meaning is different if they lose human lives. Everyone nodded. On second thought, it seems that is indeed the case. Last time, I was just shocked by Suzian's crazy energy. Now that I think about it. If he were really asked to kill him, would he dare? Thinking about it this way, Isher had a sneer on his face. This side. Suzian and the girls, each eating a popsicle, wandered around the planet in such an arrogant manner. This is already the 15th day since they entered the Venus-Mercury star system. And this planet has been searched almost everywhere by them. Remaining people. Or they all ran away after getting the news. Or be killed by Suzian and the others. But there must be many that are very deeply hidden. For example, some areas with strong magnetic fields and some very deep areas. Hiding there, it is difficult for radar to detect them. The purple detection radar of unparalleled quality is not as omnipotent as opening the eyes of the sky. If it was really that powerful, there wouldn't always be sneak attacks on the battlefield. There are even cases of high-end starships being attacked by a group of weak starships, and there are quite a few of them. Therefore, detection radar is not omnipotent. Suzian didn't expect the detection radar to be able to find all the human traitors on this planet. Unless you really search inch by inch. But in that case, let alone 15 days. Even if it takes 15 months, I'm afraid we may not be able to find it completely. Let's look around again. If there isn't one in this area yet, then go back and evolve the starship for you. The starship has evolved, let's go to the next planet. Suzian said after taking the last bite of the popsicle. The girls were all right and nodded to express that there was no problem, especially Hu Chichi, whose expression was the most excited. Because of this evolution, she, it will also evolve from frigate to assault ship. She will be the third assault ship captain in the brilliant fleet. But just at this moment, careful, Suzian suddenly shouted. Almost as soon as his voice fell, Taimei's boulder instantly opened its energy shield to the maximum. He used the fastest speed to block the side and rear of Qin Fuyue's Huiyue, which was under attack. In the past, the boulder was almost invulnerable. This time, just one cannonball, then he directly shattered her energy shield. Followed closely, there were also a large number of incoming artillery shells. It's like blocking out the sky and the sun. Rushing out from a sea behind everyone. Attacking everyone, Taimei gritted her teeth and faced the overwhelming shells, not even taking a step back. Because she knew it very well. Even the energy shield of her megalith couldn't withstand the attack of this shell. Bai Xiaoyuan was okay, but Hu Chichi, Miao Xiaomi, and Qin Fuyue definitely couldn't withstand the third shell. At most, the second shell will explode directly. There can be no accidents. She used all her means to intercept the shells one after another. If you can't intercept them, just use the hull of the Great Stone to resist. Suddenly, the several layers of thick core armor were punched with more than a dozen holes. Although these holes were not directly penetrated. But the lethality of this cannonball is truly terrifying to a certain level. To know. The defense of the boulder is no worse than that of the Brilliance, which is an assault ship. Those several layers of pink, perfect quality core armor are definitely not kidding you. Even if the core armor of the Suzian Brilliance is of purple unparalleled quality, in terms of overall defense, it is still inferior to the Great Stone, a tight fit these days. There has long been an unspeakable tacit understanding between the Brilliant Fleet. There is no time to think about how strong the opponent is, or who the opponent is. The girls reacted immediately, and immediately launched their own counterattacks. The boulder is now under tremendous pressure. If they don't fight back and suppress it, it will be the boulder's turn to be in danger. 
the first to react. There is no doubt that it is the brilliant number. Susie and ducked out of the way almost immediately, blocking the way of the girls, just like the Jushihau. Although the defense of the brilliance is not as good as that of the fully defended boulder. But if you want to say that the defense power of the brilliance is really much worse than that of the boulder, that is absolutely not true. The most important thing is. Susie in Star Wars ability is superb, and his ability to detonate objects with precision that is even more accurate than a sniper is even more unparalleled. Perhaps the surface defense is not comparable. However, under Susie in's operation, the interception network, composed of the Brilliance's defensive guns, had unparalleled defensive power. So if calculated like this. Except for energy attacks. As far as physical shells are concerned, Suzian's defensive ability is actually even more outrageous than that of the boulder. But if it's an energy attack, that's really not as good as the boulder. The physical cannonballs were intercepted one after another under the control of Suzian and with the assistance of the purple unparalleled star crystal light brain. Those shells have a very high interception success rate. Only a few energy cannons hit the brilliance. Not surprisingly, the energy shield was destroyed on the third shot. This is normal. Energy shields are different from core armor. The energy shield of the Brilliance is both a salt ship level and purple, incomparable quality. Naturally more resistant to beatings. After the energy shield was destroyed, an energy cannon shot directly punched a hole that was about to penetrate the ship of the Brilliance. But at least it is not the core area, such as the pilot, cockpit, main and secondary guns, etc. But the best defense is to be proactive. This sentence is an eternal truth. Suzy and intercepted at the same time. Two main guns and twelve secondary guns, all with wildly tilted ammunition. No worries about any consumption. At the same time, Huchichi launched a crazy fire suppression, and launched a large number of shells towards the opponent's sea surface like a tide. At this time, the opponent's starship had gradually emerged from the sea. Just from the rough outline, I can tell one by one. Cruiser. This is a cruiser. The two girls, Qin Fuyue and Miao Xiaomi, were also firing on all cylinders and outputting wildly. Including Bai Xiaoyuan. Although Bai Xiaoyuan is only a support ship. But there are also basic, main guns, and secondary guns. It's just the attack level of a normal assault ship. But. All the ultra-small maintenance drones on her starship have flown out. It began to fire a large amount of T-matter energy rays at the damaged parts of the boulder and the brilliance, and carried out emergency repairs. The price of this T-matter energy ray is extremely expensive. Even the most common kind, the price of 1 milligram is as high as 100,000. And 1 milligram under full power maintenance can only last about 5 seconds. That is to say, under full maintenance, the maintenance cost of an ultra-small maintenance drone is as high as 1.2 million yuan in one minute. But. But it's definitely worth it. Expensive, there is a reason why it is expensive. If you can't use the evolution value, try not to use it. Because the higher the starship level, or the higher the quality of the starship, the more terrifying the evolution value consumed for emergency repairs. There were a total of four ultra-small maintenance drones, three of which were assigned to the boulder, which suffered nearly 80% of the damage, always keeping the damage to the starship at about 39%. It took dozens of seconds to drop to 40%, and the drop was relatively slow. As for the brilliance, it suffered less damage and could intercept more accurately. Therefore, the degree of damage is still slowly recovering. This, it is the support ship. This is the main reason why it is regarded as the first target by the enemy during combat. Fiat. There are also supply drones, which are constantly supplying Huchichi and Qin Fuyu's starships in large quantities. Especially Huchichi. Continuous supplies came down from Tang Tang. The hive launcher of her starship actually maintained uninterrupted firing status. It's like two special teams met by chance on Earth in ancient times. Then one of the parties fires mortars at you non-stop for blanket bombing. How do you feel, even if you're hiding behind cover? 
but can you still raise your head? Cannot. That kind of pure fire suppression. It's simply outrageous. This. That's the importance of support ships. After the initial attack, the girls finally began to turn the situation around. Especially Susie Ann. After confirming that the girls launched a counterattack and entered the state, he finally got into his own position. There is no need to fight the cannonballs on behalf of the other girls. Suzy Ann started his own fierce counterattack. The cannonballs were used to kill the opponent's cockpit with extreme accuracy. The terrifying penetrating power of the purple unparalleled quality heavy hydrogen atom cannon is fully demonstrated at this moment. This starship, which should have reached the level of an intermediate cruiser, actually didn't resist much. Just the second shot directly penetrated its energy shield. After all, it is a secondary gun from a battleship, and its quality has been upgraded to unparalleled purple. This power. Of course it goes without saying. The other party was obviously taken aback. Not only was I shocked by the power of Suzy Ian's main gun, but I was also shocked by Suzy Ian's terrifying accuracy. To know. Suzy Ian has been here for the past two years. Star Wars simulations are performed almost regularly. Improvement every day. To this day. Suzy Ian even faced cruiser opponents. It is still possible to accurately predict and hit the opponent's point. What if we encounter an assault ship, a frigate, or even a reconnaissance ship? Let's put it this way. Based on the Star Wars strength gap between Suzy Ian and the opponent, no matter how the opponent dodges and defends, it's impossible to escape because in the realm below the cruiser, just talk about Star Wars strength. Su Zian considers himself number 100. Then the top 99 are absolutely empty. So powerful. When Su Zian fired his third main gun, it also cracked the opponent's glass. Zero. The other party was finally frightened and frightened. Don't even think about it. Turn around and run immediately. Start escaping as quickly as possible. Su Zian will naturally not let him go. Crazy pursuit and crazy attack on the opponent's engine. After such an attack, you still want to run away so easily? Dreaming. Huchichi and others also noticed this. He also followed Suzy in and started the pursuit. There is no way he is planning to let the other person leave. One shot after another. When Suzy in tore a hole in the energy shield at the opponent's engine and made a groove in the core armor outside the opponent's engine. He immediately shouted, keep chasing me. We must not let him go. Suzy and shouted. All the girls responded in unison, pursed their lips, and continued to output wildly. Then, on this planet, such a strange scene unfolded. A cruiser with a length of more than 1,200 meters, being chased by two assault ships and four frigates. The cruiser was running away in despair, the kind that you don't even dare to look back. Scene. Shocking and weird. This planet. It's not just the brilliant fleet. The surrounding fleets also saw such a strange scene. Everyone suddenly opened their mouths. Watching this incredible scene in stunned silence. Not to mention those human traitors, everyone's eyes widened in horror. It's like seeing a ghost. They even wondered if they were insane to see such an outrageous scene. Shocked. Shocked. Everyone looked at it stupidly. Silent for a while. And this scene. They were also dumbfounded by the top bosses outside the Jinshui star system. Everyone's eyes widened. That expression. It's as interesting as it gets. Even including Lu Yu Yu herself. He also looked dumbfounded. Open your mouth wide. Staring stupidly. This. What the hell is Nima? Zero. What kind of monsters are these? A super monster. With a few super little monsters. This was almost the first thought that came to the mind of every big shot at the scene. Don't look at these big guys, they are all deep space ship captains, star destroyer captains, and even a few immortal ship captains. But. 
even with their knowledge. I have never seen such an outrageous fleet before. There are six starships in total. Only two of them were assault ships. The remaining four are all frigates. Result. Stunned, beat up a nasty mid-level cruiser and turn around and run away? Although everyone can see it. This cruiser was mainly frightened by Su Lian. That's why he fled without fighting. But even so. It is enough to illustrate their terror. Su Zian put it aside for now. Why not? Ah. Is this a monster genius? No. This guy is just a top evil genius, isn't he? Genius. They are also divided into ordinary geniuses, top geniuses, evil geniuses, and top evil geniuses. What is a top talent? It means a genius among geniuses, but not as good as the devil's 937. What is a top evil genius? He is a monster among monster geniuses. No. Even more than that. This is Suzian. I'm afraid it's enough to be called a genius. What is Tanjiao? That is what it means to be a true genius, known and recognized throughout the universe. It means that as long as he does not die young, he must be a top powerhouse. This is Tanjiao. Sometimes, even a sea of stars cannot reach the horizon in 10,000 years. And there are only 108 star seas in the entire cosmic human federal realm. Genius, that is an existence that truly stands at the top of the universe. They are not sure whether Suzian is a genius at the level of genius. But the top evil genius is 10,000%. Because they have all seen evil geniuses. But. I have never seen a monster like Suzian. Everyone looked at Lu Yuyu. Some people's eyes even started to flash, and they didn't know what they were thinking. Some people hesitated for a moment, but soon became firm. Hashtag 89A. His eyes immediately became firm. Lu Yuyu, however, was unaware of all this. Because of this moment. In her heart, she was also frightened by Su Zian and the brilliant fleet. One thing to say. Monster genius. She knows. Top evil genius. She knew it too. Su Zian even knew these two geniuses. The evil genius is Hai Tang. Top evil genius. Of course it was her, Lu Yuyu. The reason why Hai Tang is just an evil genius. That's because geniuses also have growth attributes. Genius is not a genius of some level, but a genius of this level for the rest of his life. You can rely on your acquired efforts to strengthen yourself. Begonia falls into this category. Hai Tang is an evil genius. She, Lu Yuyu, is a top evil genius. Therefore, so, T. If it were me, it would be Su Zian. As long as his starship and Su Zian's brilliance are of the same level and quality, and he doesn't have as much combat experience as he does now. It's her turn. There is absolutely no way she can be like Su Zian. Go and fight off a cruiser. What a mid-level cruiser. This is even more outrageous. That is to say. My little junior brother. Ait, FTE. He is not only a genius among evolutionists. Still, or the genius in Star Wars? Lu Yuyu said she was shocked. What kind of evildoer is he, actually more powerful than Lu Yuyu? Oh my god. Huh? Etc. He is my junior brother, and I am her senior sister. As a junior brother, he has to listen to my senior sister. Rounded down. I, Lu Yuyu, am also a genius? Right. That must be it. Otherwise, why would they be from the same sect? Ha. Huh. That's it. Thinking of this, Lu Yuyu suddenly became proud. Then say nothing, they immediately shared this exciting news with their small group of senior brothers and sisters. After that, I didn't care. Because she knows. The two senior brothers and second senior sister in the small group will definitely be a big deal. The reason is simple. Su Zian is a genius in the field of evolutionists. Su Zian may not know it himself, but his senior brothers and sisters have never told him. 
but these senior brothers and sisters know it themselves. And Master has made it clear more than once. The most important thing is that Lu Yuyu witnessed it with her own eyes. At this point, there is absolutely no controversy whatsoever. Why, you ask? Ha! Huh. One is only 20 years old. A second grade advanced evolver who can evolve a purple, unparalleled quality assault ship. Tell me, this can't even be called an evolutionary genius. What can be called an evolutionary genius? Suzy and Star Wars talent is very powerful and he is a top-notch evildoer. They all know this too. But I definitely didn't expect it. It has reached this level. Yes. At the frigate level, Suzian indeed surpassed two levels and killed a destroyer in a single fight. Now Suzian is an assault ship. He is also two levels ahead. He still defeated a cruiser with the help of his teammates. But, don't forget. The later the starship reaches, the greater the gap between the major levels becomes. Assault ships are the limit of 499.9. Cruiser is the limit of 1,499.9, just right. It's so short of the limit length of 1,000 meters. Can the concept be the same? Totally different. Suzian can be in this situation. The two cannons accurately detonated the opponent's energy shield. One shot cracked the opponent's cockpit glass. Yes, you can say Suzian is because of the powerful penetrating power of the main gun. This is true. But, given the same main gun configuration, would you try to fight a cruiser? See if you can penetrate the opponent's energy shield with two shots? It's impossible for you to fire 200 rounds, the reason is simple. You can't be sure. It is even more impossible to be like Suzian, who can accurately shoot at the same point when facing a cruiser opponent. This Star Wars strength. It's really outrageous, to a certain extent. Hiss. Oh, what a pity. This, sigh, it's such a pity, otherwise it's really possible to see the brilliant fleet massacre this cruiser. There is no way, there really is no way. Who would have thought that this cruiser would have so much evolutionary value? At this time, waves of regretful sighs from him continued to sound in the huge hall of the support spacecraft. Lu Yuyu quickly stared at it. But I saw the huge virtual projection in the hall in real time. The cruiser that was being chased by the brilliant fleet managed to escape the pursuit range of the brilliant fleet without any damage, and soon disappeared from everyone's sight. The brilliant fleet stopped pursuing. But Lu Yuyu didn't feel it was a pity. It is certainly a pity that the cruiser escaped. But the strength of the brilliant fleet lies here. Don't be afraid of not having a chance in the future. This time, the rodent vanguard plan has a lot of cruisers, look at Suzy inside again. They have nothing to regret. Cruisers are inherently faster. Now that people use the evolution value to repair the engine urgently before it blows up, there is really no need to continue the pursuit. What's more, the consumption this time is not small. After all, they had been fighting for half a month, and this wave just now was a crazy output regardless of consumption. Even with Bai Xiaonya's little kite, there really isn't much ammunition left. I have to go back and replenish it. Just right. Also evolve the girls' starships to the assault ship level. Come back later to take revenge. Anyway, it will be a long time later. Don't be afraid of them running away. And this evolution. It's all the girls together. Qin Fuyue was promoted to the 8th level frigate. Taimei, Meowth, and Japanese frigates. Hu Chichi was upgraded to a first level assault ship. A total of four starships evolved simultaneously. As for Bai Xiaoying, it's still the same. Because her starship has been finalized, she doesn't attach much importance to evolution at the moment. It's better to accumulate more evolution points. Go prepare for the evolved destroyer. When the time comes, it will evolve into a 1.4 destroyer that is 100% overall pink and perfect, and even 100% overall purple with unparalleled quality. Wouldn't that be better? This is how she is now, and that's enough. Hu Chichi has completed his evolution this time. 
Next time it will be Taime and Miatha's turn. Probably not too long. Because before the assault ship, they will still use a lot of natural resources and treasures for them. Don't look at the hunt for human traders every day. But whenever there is a break, all the girls would take potion baths in the living room. In short, before the captain of the assault ship, crazy luxury training is enough. After the assault ship captain, let's see if they can afford to pay off their debts. It's okay to pay back the money. That's okay. Then continue. Not yet? Don't even think about it, uh. It's not impossible to use your body. It's just a promise of my own body. Suzian is actually barely able to accept it. Oh, I'm just talking about the four girls, Miao Xiaomi, Hu Chichi, Qin Fuyue, and Bai Xiaoyuan. As for Taime? Ah. Her only destiny is to be a cow or a horse. Unless she treats herself as a cow or a horse. Otherwise, don't think about it. No. Absolutely not. I, Suzian. Not evil. But never make a loss-making transaction. Suzian, who returned to the support spaceship, originally wanted to take a day off and evolve again tomorrow. But he couldn't stand the coquettishness of the girls. It's really unbearable. One after another, the beautiful girls of various colors held my arms, pouted their little lips, and stared at me with their big bright eyes. There was also a five-year-old Taime, with thick nose hair and slender nose hair, who looked at him enthusiastically and excitedly. Suzian said that he really couldn't bear it. What else can be said? Evolve. First of all, it must be Huchichi who is most anxious. The Keel of the Honor series assault ship, customized by Huchichi, has also arrived long ago. They came with the Keel of Suzian. Including several women, they were all sent over. Otherwise, one trip per person and the shipping fee are enough to buy it again. Hu Chi's glory is the tin-type assault ship keel, although she paid for it. But, how to customize it and what kind of customization it looks like. It must be completely in accordance with Suzian's wishes. The keel of Hu Chi has very low defense requirements. However, it has extremely high requirements in terms of bearing capacity and toughness. Carrying capacity is not carrying capacity in the traditional sense. It means it can withstand a large number of high-recoil shell launchers. Needless to say, toughness is a necessity. Higher toughness can also carry higher shell recoil. Then there's the space performance. Suzian has arranged almost every inch of the Hu Chichi starship properly. Because of the special nature of the Fox 7 starship, every inch of the area is extremely important. One more cannonball, sometimes, more points for Angie. Therefore, Suzian even calculated the howl of Huchichi and the number of caliber shells contained in the magazine. Really not wasting any area. Because Huchichi is a firepower ship. Therefore, the damage value of a single target is not focused on. Therefore, the main guns on the Awu are all of the type with high firing rate and high power. Seven doors. Yes. Seven main guns. Can you imagine the concept of a special assault ship equipped with seven special main guns? Secondary artillery. 42 doors, seven main guns, and 42 secondary guns. In addition, there are also 108 vertical missile launch bays. Of course, it's a small missile, the 5-meter-long kind. Seven main guns, 42 secondary guns, and 108 missile launch bays. Just ask, who else? So configured. Almost completely squeezing out the rest of the space. For example, there are no anti-aircraft guns. For example, core armor, too. Even ordinary armor is the thinnest kind. There is also no storage space except for ammunition. In addition, the internal space is also quite crowded. Even the bridge and captain's living room are very crowded and small, just like the scout ship period. But although it is small, it is enough. After all, the current assault ship level is not the time to enjoy it. By the time you get to the cruiser, 
There is enough area to enjoy. Now. Let's do this for now. This. That's all the weapon configuration of the Hu Chi Chi Ao Wu. There. It was so terrifying that it made my head tingle. In addition. Then there are the cannonball types of the Fox Chi Chi Ao Wu. All energy type ammunition has been cancelled. Use thermal energy type. That is fire and explosion. Hu Chi Chi prefers this. Not long after, Qing Fu Yue evolved into an assault ship. What gives her safety is a full set of energy attack equipment. If I have to use metaphor. Hu Chi Chi is a fire mage. Qing Fu Yue is a water mage. Del. That's what it means. And they are all extremely crispy. So. The front row meat shield is particularly important. So far so good. Wait until later. The brilliant fleet will definitely recruit at least one human shield, like Taimei's monolith, again. Two super tank ships. That sense of security. Absolutely overwhelming. Evolution begins. Hu Chichi was very excited. According to Su Zian's request, he began to devour parts and high-end materials. This evolution. Aoeoho is still a way of quality translation. Her evolution value is currently not enough to support the evolution of some parts, to purple unparalleled quality. But I believe that when this rodent eradication pioneer plan is over, everyone in the brilliant fleet should be of 100% purple incomparable quality. Of course not 100% sure. Because of the perfect quality of pink, it is already powerful enough, really powerful enough. At that time, the point will be updated for the destroyer era. Some of the main parts that may evolve are purple in comparable quality. Destroyer period. Then reach 100% overall purple unparalleled quality and activate the overall characteristics. In this way, we can not only maintain sufficient leapfrog combat capabilities, but also save more evolution values. This is the most appropriate way. Evolution is in full swing here. The other side. In a certain restaurant. Gao Miuli and others drank wine with depressed expressions. It's been 10 days, it's been 10 days, and it hasn't come out yet. A young man said extremely depressed, these 10 days were enough for us to hunt down several destroyers, but now it has been wasted. Another hyena human hesitated and said, Captain. Is it really okay if we do this? He, he is actually a certified evolutionist of the Evolutionary Association. If the Evolutionist Association sanctions us by then, then we. What he said was exactly what others were worried about. They all looked at Gao Muli. Takagi Lee took a sip of wine expressionlessly and sneered, Evolutionist? Yes, he evolved from the Evolution Association. But don't our Gao family have any evolutionists from the Evolutionist Association? He didn't run the Evolutionary Association. If he imposes sanctions, we can unblock them at any time. So what are you worried about? Besides, he is only a second-grade evolutionary master. Our Gao family is a fourth-grade evolutionary master. Where are you, Burnama? This hyena human race was immediately shocked and made him laugh again and again. But it also made me feel relieved. Yes, Su Zian is indeed a member of the Evolutionist Association. But the Evolutionary Association cannot punish anyone at once. Oh, if you, an evolutionist in the Evolutionary Association, are attacked by others, you will immediately punish others? Just kidding? As long as it is not bullying others with power and it is a normal conflict, it is impossible for the Evolutionary Association to sanction anyone at once. Unless, like Su Zian a few years ago, he was overpowered by the Chang family, his son, and the principal of Huching No. 3 Middle School. Of course, the Evolutionist Association also used its power to suppress others. But under normal circumstances, the Evolutionist Association will not take any action, think so. These people immediately felt at ease. After a while, Takagi Liguang Brain Watch suddenly received news of a case. After reading the news, a touch of surprise suddenly appeared on Gao Mili's face, and he sneered, it's finally, out. 
Very good, go now. After saying that, he immediately stood up and walked quickly in a certain direction. The rest of the people also reacted and quickly stood up to follow. All of them looked murderous. It seems that I have already seen Suzian and his party. Especially Suzian, the exciting scene where they pushed him to the ground and beat him violently. 887, just imagining that scene makes people excited. This way. Suzian and the others finally completed the evolution of the starship. Come to the gold and mercury star system these days. Suzian is still conducting evolutionary simulations every day. Moreover, the evolution simulation of the destroyer is ongoing. Assault ships still belong to the category of second-grade evolutionists. After starting the simulation of the destroyer, Suzian was really performing the simulation of a third-grade evolutionist. Seriously. Disaster. Very difficult. It is several times more difficult than evolving an assault ship. In particular, on the basis of the evolution of the destroyer, research on the purple unparalleled quality must be added. It is even more difficult. But Suzian is not in a hurry now. Anyway, wait until the brilliance is about to evolve into a destroyer. He believed that he would have completed his research by then, when a few people were discussing whether to rest for a day or to wait for a meal and then rush to the battlefield again. Several familiar figures walked over menacingly. Miao Xiaomi's expression, which was originally happy because of the evolution of the starship, suddenly turned gloomy. Suzian raised an eyebrow. He thought that this matter had been revealed, but he never thought that these cowards would still dare to come. And look at them like this. It was obvious that he had some plans. Suddenly, something moved in his heart, and he said in a deep voice, turn on the camera function on the optical brain watch. These people. I'm afraid they have bad intentions. Wait and see what I do next. After hearing Suzian's words, the girls immediately followed the instructions, without even thinking about it. They all calmly turned on the video, on the optical brain watch. The same is true for Suzian. He would like to see it. These are cowards. What exactly do you want to do? Thank you for watching Mystic Realms Recap. Please like share and subscribe. Have a great day.